executives from AMD and Intel told Quirrell that the combined AMD Intel chip will be an evolution of the eighth generation of Intel's H-series core chips, with the ability to manage the entire module to preserve battery life. It is scheduled to ship as early as the first quarter of 2018. Although both companies helped design the new chip, this is Intel's project. Intel first went to AMD, both companies confirmed. AMD, meanwhile, is treating the core of Radeon as a unique and semi-custom design, in the same vein as the chips it supplies to consoles such as Microsoft Xbox One X and Sony PlayStation 4. However, some details remain undisclosed. Intel it refers to it as a unique product, although it seems possible that it can eventually be offered at a range of clock speeds. The core of the Intel AMD agreement is a small piece of silicon that Intel started talking about last year, the Embedded Multi-Die Interconnect Bridge or EMIB. Numerous EMIBs can connect silicon dies, routing the electric traces through the substrate itself. The result is what Intel calls a system and pack module. In this case, the EMIBs allowed Intel to build the three matrix module, which will join the Intel Core chip, the Radeon kernel and the next generation high bandwidth memory, or HBM2. The story behind the story, you heard right, this is AMD and Intel, working together. Shaking hands in this partnership represents a rare moment of harmony in an often bitter rivalry that began when AMD did reverse engineering of the Intel 8080 microchip in 1975. But in graphics, the two are much more cordial. The low-end integrated cores of Intel owns the majority of the portable PC market, while AMD is caught between Intel and NVIDIA's high-end chips. Intel, for its part, is not a friend of NVIDIA, since it paid $1,500 million in license fees since 2011. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, that is an explanation of how the deal came about.